Okay, so if you clicked on this video, you're probably in the same predicament as me, where you have your Asus ZenBook, great laptop, love it, it's like a MacBook clone, everything except the freaking hinges. They use plastic for the mount, I have no idea why, it's so frustrating. But I had this break on me two or three times, I fixed it with epoxy, it keeps breaking and breaking and breaking. So I finally found like a little write up online this dude made where he just drilled through the lid of the laptop and then put bolts in it. So I'm going to be doing that today and uh, you only need a few things to do it. I mean, I took my time and it was a little bit tedious, like drilling through and everything, but um, it, it worked out pretty well. And here is the rest of the write up. So what you're going to need for today's DIY is a drill. You're going to need a Phillips head, a Torx head, a few different varying sizes of drill bits. These are like 7 64ths to 9 64ths. You'll need your laptop hinges, which you can look in another video, how to take that apart. Um, some washers, nuts, and bolts. And like I mentioned before, these are M3 by 12, so they're 12 millimeters long. And then you'll need a 5.5 socket, which is kind of strange, but it's the size of these nuts, which is like super weird. Um, an Allen head. And then if you want to tighten these hinges, you'll need a five socket and a 5.5 to tighten up the ends of these hinges or just use a standard open end wrench and of course a broken laptop so yeah you know you can see my ones in there they're a little bit messed up so gonna drill those babies out at the end of the day we're gonna be drilling through the back here and then we're gonna mount this with these metal screws so that you know this will never happen again because I did the whole you know glue thing like there's a lot of videos online where people just glue it back on and I did that like three times I think and this is the third time it's broken and I'm kind of just over it so I'm pretty much just gonna you know have heavy duty mount this up so ideally if you could get m2 screws that would be a lot better because the m3 actually doesn't fit through the uh, mount so I'm actually gonna drill this out a little bit um, just because I couldn't find M2s and um, I mean M3s will be more solid anyway I just don't want to have to worry about it so pretty much how I'm gonna start here is I'm gonna actually put the uh, mounts on here and then I'm gonna screw one of these screws in just so then I can um, I can have the screw in and then I'll drill out the other ones and I'm just going to go straight through the existing mount and just drill out the whole thing just so then I know that it's like level and it's going to be in the same exact spot that the original mount was in. So I'm just going to, you know, put this screw in here, tighten it up a little bit, and then I'm going to get my, my drill and I'm just going to go right through that and all the way through into the back. Mix up some JB welds here. And I'm gonna JB weld the original bracket back on, and then I'm just gonna pretty much drill through that bracket and then mount it up on the back side. Cause I figured, I mean, I could put like washers or something if you wanted to take out the bracket and do that, but I wanted to make sure that it still stays at like the original height and everything. So I think this will be the best way to do it, really. All right, so I'm just gonna take my drill and uh, slowly go through each hole one at a time and. Uh... Okay, and we're through. Don't get these shavings everywhere, but there's my first hole. There we go, look at that. I'll probably clean it up a little bit, but you get the idea. And then we're just gonna go through and do all three of them. So I got a couple different size drill bits. It's, uh, it's like seven sixteenths and like one eighth or something. And uh, just gonna go ahead and step it up slowly and keep drilling it out until this uh, M3 bolt can fit in there. Okay, so I decided to change it up. Uh, it was a little bit too hard to drill through both the hinge and the laptop at the same time. So what I'm gonna do is actually is I have a vise here and I'm just gonna put these guys on the vise and then I'm gonna drill straight through um, here. If the uh, 9 64ths was the perfect size for M3 bolt, 
and then afterwards I'm going to drill through the laptop separately. So I'll just go through here, bada bing, bada boom, and then yeah. Okay, so I decided to do the hinges separately, so I just drilled those out, and then now I'm just gonna do the rest of the holes. So they're all lined up already, and uh, this glue's dried, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, go through with the 764 bit. Just kinda slowly go through here, and uh, yeah, should be pretty easy. So I kind of messed this hole up here on the left by accident. I was kind of stepped it up too hard. So I'm just going to mount the uh, bracket in here just so then I have kind of a guide for um, going through there because I don't want to be like off a little bit. Then it won't really line up perfectly. So this might be easier for you if you just like mount it up and then drill through it. But I drilled the holes separately because it made it a lot easier to go through them like when I mounted it. Okay, so now I've drilled all my holes. So as you can see, a couple of them, the um, plastic kind of came out. So this is probably where I have a couple extra washers and these washers too. So I'm gonna see if I can like level it out because it's gonna be a little bit uneven. But let's see what we can do about that. And obviously, make sure don't uh, mess mess up the you know switch up which one goes where because you're gonna have a bad time. Okay, so I just realized that these little guide holes, it's not gonna fit with my uh, washers, so I'm just gonna dremel, I'm just gonna dremel off these little pieces here. Okay, so it looks pretty good. I think my alignment might be a tiny bit off with the washers. You can see I kind of fit them under there to make it, try to make it as level as possible. But the back look like looks really good though. I mean, I didn't think I really needed the um, washers because it made it look kind of, I don't know, tacky. But I like the look of the Allen heads much better than like a Phillips or something. So, all right, the next thing is to just uh, put it in my laptop and make sure that it all lines up properly. And then maybe adjust the uh, how strong the hinges are because pretty strong right now, but maybe I want to make them like less firm or something, so. Okay, so I ran into another problem that once this goes on here, it doesn't really click on because of the washers I have in here. So, I mean, I could try and use the neoprene ones, but I don't know how well that's going to work. What I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these washers and use a grinder and then just, like, grind off uh, 
the sides of them so then they'll just fit in here nicely and then I don't have to worry about that because it seems like the length isn't a problem I don't think pretty sure it's just that these um, washers are on there so okay so since it's not really gonna fit with these on here I'm just gonna grind off the top of them and the sides so just to make sure that they fit <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna put these uh, cut washers back on here and hope that I can fit that pull this plastic piece back on. So let's get this going. It pretty much fits on there, besides like a little gap over here and here, but not too worried about it, just glad that it fits. Okay, so pretty, si yeah, pretty excited to reassemble this because the first time this broke was I was in like Cambodia and like I rushing around trying to find Torx thing and Torx screwdriver, one of these and like, man, and then I got epoxy and I epoxied it and then like six months later it broke and then I fixed it again and then like you know ten or maybe like four months later it broke again and then I think this is like the third time it's broken so super excited to finally just be like you know done with it and just fix it so yeah here we go now I'm gonna reassemble it um, I'm just gonna speed it up because you know you can watch another video on how to reassemble it Okay, so finally finished. Here is the end result. So, looks pretty damn good if I do say so myself. I mean, opens up, holds up fine. I tightened up the hinges a little bit too. Looks pretty nice from the top. Uh, from the back, you can like kind of see there's a little gap on each side, but I think that's maybe because I broke these tabs beforehand, but... But yeah, it all, everything works. Let's uh, turn it on. Make sure I uh, didn't break anything in the process. Eh, it looks like it's working. So, yep, yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you want to, like, do whatever you do on this platform, you got any questions, comments, whatever, just post it. Um, but, yeah, I didn't see anybody do this write-up online, um, like, a video anyway. I saw some guy who posted kind of, like, minimal instructions how to do it, but... I figured it'd be kind of nicer to have a video and I figured if I was going to do it, I might as well just record the process as well. So, you know, so anybody who has like a Zen book or mine's the UX 303 L, um, anything around that. And I mean, I guess it would work with any laptop really that has like a metal, uh, frame. I'm not sure if many other laptops have this issue, but if they do, you know, you can go ahead and do this. I'm really happy now cause I've been struggling with this for quite some time. It's been really annoying, so this is pretty awesome. And I think I got it pretty lined up pretty well. I think this side, I think it's like a little bit off, but I'm not too worried about it. I mean, it's like, it looks level. 
everything kind of you know looks fine it works i'm happy so there we go